What's up, nerd friends? We're going to take a look at the Max 5 and the Max 6. Happy Hobby Days, Merry Nerd Year. Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in, and I'm glad to have everybody back once again. We're going to take a look at the Max 6 and the Max 5. The Max 6, the 6 designation, stands for 6 scale. The 5 stands for 5th scale. And you can see they are extremely similar, and we often get asked, which one should I use, when, where, and why? Max 6 is a fantastic RTR upgrader. If you're looking to do motor and speed control or you want overkill that's when the max 5 comes into play maybe you've got a 6 scale or a 5th scale definitely going to go with the max 5. for the most part max 6 will do about everything that the max 5 will do just in a smaller package the 200 amp rating on the big guy versus the 160 amp rating now if you were to actually draw 200 amps through these wires lots of bad things would happen these specifications are based off of specs of the components that are used. So because this guy uses more bigger MOSFETs, his spec is higher than this guy. But in the end, a properly set up motor, you know, should be okay for the most part. You see the big difference here between the two of them, the size of the heat sink. But the Max 6, you know, being the smaller speed control has a little bit smaller footprint, a little bit smaller heat sink. It's gonna not dissipate the, e the heat quite as quick as the big guy does. They both share the same style of power capacitors because they're both rated for the same style of batteries four to eight s basically and then you see some differences in the wire sizes the max five being a bit heavy more heavy duty has eight gauge wire on it as compared to the max six's 10 gauge wire that comes pre-installed both of them have these six millimeter bullet plugs that work with all the popular six millimeter plugs that are out there these two speed controls are monstrosities in their own and side by side they're even bigger i mean this thing, this is the Max 5, this is the Max 6. We're going to put them uh, bottom to bottom, and you can see the difference in length is quite noticeable from the, let's just, we're going to do some rough numbers here, and then I'll show you all the hard specs, but 25 millimeters longer and a few millimeters thicker, depending where you check it from, and you can see the height, they're similar, but of course, the Max five is slightly bigger as you would expect and you can see i'm a big fan of these guys these are bigger than xt90s the number on it says q it's qs8s and i call these xt150s they're just huge and this is like the newer anti-spark version of them uh, if you have been around rc for a minute i hope you know about the xt series of plugs from this wonderful company called amas they make one of the most affordable high quality plugs that's out there it's cheap enough that nobody even tries to knock them off if you're using trx plugs or dean's plugs or ec plugs now and you're looking to do some good upgrades think about doing the plugs it makes a huge difference overall and now i pretty much only run xt90s on my big power stuff this guy i put this on here just to see what it looks like and it's it's a little overkill i mean you can see that's quite a bit larger but when you're looking at the the plugs that you're going to want to use if you look at the size of the wire it shouldn't be bigger than where you're soldering to if you take a look at your standard plug what we're all commonly this is a knockoff deans by the way but the wire is already kind of bigger than the surface area and that's going to make the connector get hot and cause you all sorts of problems never mind the fact that there are more fake deans and fake plugs out there than i care to think about that cause all sorts of nightmares as far as these two speed controls uh, core features go they, they do have the same settings and they both work with the same programming devices uh, they work with the ota which is the wireless device they work with the lcd programming box and they work with the led programming card so you can pretty much use any of the programmers on both of these speed controls and they connect to the fan port they do not have any onboard data logging even if you use a programmer using programmers does not unlock any features of these speed controls they have what's inside of them and if you need to check that there's a link in the description below that has the speed controls manual so you can compare but basically the charts make it real easy to see what's going on link down below with all the actual data on how big these guys are weights and stuff like that they're both pretty beefy they both use the same power capacitors and like i said before they have the same size connectors on them these guys are commonly known as six millimeter bullet plugs that is what comes on all of the big <clears throat> have you seen one of these <laughs> the biggest rc car motor i've ever held in my own hands the 
Easy Run Max series of motors. Uh, 56 stands for the diameter, 113 stands for the length. So our motors all work that way. When you look at the no numbers on the motor, the first two are the diameter, the next set of numbers is the length. SL stands for sensor less. And uh, these guys have those same big beefy connectors on there as well. But one thing I do get often is these plugs are very tight. They don't like to go in so that they don't come loose and they make very good contact. You gotta kinda give it a little. Uh, I told a guy once on the phone, I was joking, I said, sometimes you have to put your purse down while you're plugging these in because it's a little hard to do. It was a good joke. <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks. A quick look at the uh, Max 6 and the Max 5. And if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free. Shoot us an email right now, northamerica at hobbywing.com. Thanks a lot, everybody.